Hello, this is G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Guy 2! Since last time, I made my way up to Chapter 3 in the main storyline of my second cycle here, and along the way, I used three Defender River cell phones, unlocked the Defender of Earth battle with Adele as a senator, and all that. Same thing as before, and I got another accelerator. I would highly recommend getting up to three accelerators before going into axle mode. So what I'm going to do is, as long as I got the cell phones, I might as well show off some of the endings along the way, because you can only get one accelerator per cycle with this method. So get a quick ending and then move on. But, I mean, you don't have to go this far into the main storyline, but I did just because, well, I want to show the ending that you get if you defeat Etna at the end of Chapter 3 here. So, let's see. Wow, I'm probably not going to be able to one-shot her anymore. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's go with the pet of spells, since they have a greater base power than my star spells. And Etna has no elemental weak... Er, well, no weaknesses or resistances to speak of. Wow. Well, might not be able to kill her. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I gave all my professionals to Lloyd. You really don't need more than one character to carry the bulk of the load. Like with Krona and Tiana, when I leveled them up, you don't need to do that at all. I'm simply doing that just to have a little bit more margin for error, so to speak. But yeah, if you really don't want to grind up more characters, you don't have to. But I do have to kill all these printies, too. You not you don't just have to be Etna, you have to kill all the printies, too. Let's see, can I hit those two? Haha! -ha! I was wondering if the height tolerance might have been a problem there, but no, no, we're good. Dude! But otherwise, easy enough for this particular ending. I'm going to list, or I'm going to put a link in the video description that is the only source I can really find on all the different endings that you can get. So, it seems a little short, though. I would think there would be more endings, but if you know more, let me know. I haven't been able to find anything to really cross-reference with. And let's see what happens differently. Man, this sucks. I hate losing. Same oh, yeah, I feel the same way. How did I lose? I'm Beauty Queen Edna. Well, we're on a new game plus now, pretty much. Oh, cool. What the hell? I didn't want to switch my title. Yeah, I was Prism Black before. This is a blessing, Monsieur Adele. Such an inexperienced human gaining such a title, huh? This does not happen often. Yeah, he didn't even have to lift a finger. I am not happy about this. Why not? You have joined the ranks of us demons. You should be thrilled. Yeah. You get all the loot and the printies to work for you. Me? A demon? That's insane. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy. But how does a human become a demon lord? Are you sure you're really a human? You're not going to tell us, are you? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, we just get to hear Etna's theme song again with all the credits. So I'll just skip to the end. Well, I can't skip it, but I'll just meet you on the other side in a new cycle for the next ending that I want to show off after I've used more of the Defender of her cell phones and gotten another accelerator and all that. Okay, we're back, and I got the Rarity Zero accelerator here again, so let's just put that in reserves there, and let's go after another ending. This one, I got to the end of chapter one here because the next ending that I want to show off is the Axel ending. And in order to unlock this one, you have to somehow lose to Axel. Fortunately, I have a whole bunch of beast masters that I never bothered leveling up. So it'll take a while for them to 
all get killed there, although I only have nine of them. So I guess I'll have to throw out one of my heavy knights. Yeah, Jeruru is too powerful. So we'll just go with the uh, heavy knights there. And fast forward until all the enemies here kill us. I could have all my characters try to attack each other. But that would require actual effort. So I'd rather just... Press the start button over and over and over again until these guys kill us. Unfortunately, even though they have swords, they don't have blade rush or any other abilities that might be remotely useful. Lost? And wait a minute, I'm not supposed to lose. Let me see the script. <laughs> How's it feel? How does the wrath of the dark hero feel? Well, it took you long enough to kill my heavy knight. Honestly, I never thought I'd win. I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> then why did you bother fighting us? I feel like I got cheated out of some time in the spotlight, but hey, that's okay. I'll just take over the main character spot. But you didn't do anything. And so, starting next week, we'll be showing the all-new Daring Netherworld Hero Axel. Stay tuned. I just like how Dell's just in disbelief that <laughs> he lost there, but okay, yeah, there's nothing special about this ending either, so I'll just meet you on the other side after I get the next accelerator with my Defender of Earth cell phones. Okay, we're back in cycle number four, I think it is. And yeah, got another accelerator there. Awesome. And for this ending, let's see. Let's go for... Where is it? Let's go for the I want to see the ending ending. So there's a couple endings you can get by passing bills. And it should be relatively easy. Okay, it started out a little close. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I might be screwed here. But anyway... Oh yeah, by the way, the Dark World is still open if you already unlocked it in a previous cycle. But, yeah, let's just go straight to the ending. Why not? I don't know. I'm afraid I cannot allow you to do that. Well, you gotta work on that laugh like Laharl does. Uh, it appears I have been cursed with yet another clueless adversary. <laughs> Indeed. I am a distinguished gentleman with a penchant for grace and beauty. I am Dark Adonis Va- What are you supposed to be? The final boss? Oh, he doesn't look that much bigger than me. Nah, can't be. He must be some sort of mid-boss at best. <laughs> mid-boss? Uh-oh. Now you've pissed him off, Fidel. This is unforgivable. First, you try to see the ending without facing the final boss, and then you insult my honor. Unforgivable! You must be punished on guard! Thanks for the warning. For mid boss time! Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, most of these guys are well, about as tough as you'd see enemies late in the game. You know, I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's see what happens if I use Adele during these fights. Let's see what happens. Well, this fight in particular, since he's remotely reasonably leveled there. And you know what? Let's turn on, turn on the enemy spell effects. See if we can do anything useful with that. What else do we got here? Okay, well, no elemental skills, but I should be able to hit that guy from all the way over here. I like how they just took the exact same song from the first game. It was perfect the way it was. And is. Oh. Oh, right. I disabled or enabled enemy spell animations, not my own. Let's have I don't know if I'll be able to survive very long like this. <laughs> okay. Let's have fun. Yeah, unfortunately, I only have two characters who are remotely properly leveled for this anymore. And, well, since we're still in Chapter 1, 
we don't have Yukimaru or Tink or any of the other storyline characters yet to potentially help us out. Maybe I could get Lloyd to heal Rosalyn if she can survive, which I'm guessing she won't. Nope! Okay. Time to take off the gloves. Okay, what do we got here? Well, yeah, let's go over here. We'll stick with Vulcan Blaze for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not already one-shotting everything. Whatever. Let's see. Well, just like Etna, he's not really weak to anything. Yeah, that's what happens when you just don't have enough properly leveled characters. <laughs> They'll all just gang up on someone and, well, that's that. Oh, by the way, in order to get this ending, you can only pass this bill before defeating Etna. Or any time in chapters 1 through 3, essentially. Well, I was hoping the Dark Adonis might actually show something off, but... No, no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's turn the enemy effects back off. Are you gonna, like, get up off your ass one of these days and heal? Hmm, evidently not. Very well, then. I kill... Well, I'm not killing you last, but... However the expression goes. But yeah, there's nothing really special here. Although I do like how they have the same, or at least similar background to what they had in the regular boss fight. Or regular final boss fight. No! What a shame! What a catastrophe! For the Dark Adonis to be defeated! Ha <laughs> ha! But... You really weren't even a challenge. <laughs> you, you just got lucky. My stomach has been quite upset lately. Massive reflux, you know. Oh, yeah. Making up excuses to save face is fine, but that's the best you can come up with? <laughs> By the way, um, I'm going to let you guys hear the music during the credits this time because it's new music. Very well. Though I truly lost a severe indigestion, a loss is still a loss. And there actually is some dialogue after the credits, unlike I think every other ending now that I think about it. Your wish is to see the ending, huh? I shall grant you that wish. If you'd done that in the beginning, we wouldn't have had to kick you around. Presenting, engaging, and elegant, majestic, and most epic. Please enjoy this world-class masterpiece ending. Oh, and by the way, with all these endings that I'm showing off today, they don't unlock the Majin job class. You actually have to defeat Xenon. Although I did that to get over here in the first place anyway. Begin the music!
Uh, this isn't the sort of ending I was expecting. <laughs> the lesson here is never try to cheat the system. I don't know what kind of language was being sung during the ending theme, but I liked it. But anyway, I still want to keep going with Adele mode, so that way I can show off more endings. Well, there's one, only one more ending that I, I think I can show off, other than endings that are triggered by defeating Overlord Xenon, and I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. So, one more time, I'm going to get another accelerator, and I'll see you on the other side, viewers. Okay, so, we got the last accelerator, but like I said, you only need three of them, and that should be fine. And even then, you don't really need them. But they do make life a lot more convenient, especially in some of the Dark World stages in Axel mode. Now, what I want to do with three of those accelerators is I want to take them into the item world here. And I want to get to the 10th floor there with the Innocent Town where I'll find the item assembly there. And I want to pass three improved movement bills for those accelerators there and that'll really help out in some of the dark world stages in axle mode there's no major reward you get out of doing it so it's not nearly as critical as being able to defeat dark world stages in adele mode but it is there now as for the item assembly the way it works if i understand it correctly is normal items you can only get the item assembly to show up once and then for rare items, it would be twice. And legendary items, it would be three times. The thing is, though, is that the item assembly, or Innocent Town in general, isn't guaranteed to show up every 10th floor. So what I like to do is, when I get to the 10th, 20th, 30th floors, I will use a Gen C exit to get out of there, save, and then I'll just redo the 10th floor over and over and over again until I get the Innocent Town and the item assembly to spawn there. So it usually doesn't take too many tries, but it is very, very nice to have that extra movement there. Not just like for Tink, let's say, but also for my three Space Knights there. You're getting, you would get a total of six movements. Out of one accessory. That's really, really nice. And I might even try to do that with some of the angel sandals that I've picked up too. But, well, we'll see when we get there. We'll see about that. Okay, so we got the extra... What is that? The accelerator there. So, oh, right. I need to pass a bill in order to get the next ending that I want. So, yeah, let's go with that. That should be good. I suppose these guys don't mind if I get my ass kicked by passing this bill. Although, I suppose if you had 5,000 mana to spend on it, you're probably doing pretty good anyway. Okay, so we got all that. Are we all healed up? Nope. We are now. Well, let's see who we fight for this battle here. Uh-oh. Who's calling me out? I know that voice. What's this? Another powerful presence. Could this finally be Overlord Xenon? I hope not. Not this early in the game. By the way, in order to get this ending, you have to do this or pass this bill in chapter one. How hard could you possibly be? Huh? This little runt is an overlord? He might look small, but somehow I think there's more to him. Well, looks can be deceiving, Rosalind. Interesting. You're seriously gonna take me on? Sure, I've grinded the levels. Great, I've been in a bad mood lately. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe ripping you guys apart will cheer me up a little bit. Thanks. Sucks to be you. And you've been working on your villain laugh better than Byers, or mid-boss. For real boss time! And the Harl, well, I don't know if I'd say he's a pushover, but, well, you'll see. 
He's not gonna be that hard. Let's see what elemental weaknesses we gotta deal with here. Hmm, a lot of them. Okay. Let's see, what can I do here? I wanna try and hit two of them at once. But I can't exploit the elemental weaknesses very well. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll do the best I can here. These guys really shouldn't be able to touch me anyway. I mean, they're only slightly less leveled than I am, but I think we'll still be fine. You want to try and spread out a bit, because Laharl can hit multiple characters pretty easily. Or we could just do that. Why not? So as long as you're not lined up in, well, a line, I think you'll be fine for the most part. Oh, wow. I'm surprised the other guys didn't even try to attack me. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Ice and fire. Fire and ice. Icy hot. Ha ha! Barely able to get the job done there. Maybe hitting them... No, I don't want to go that close. But I was thinking maybe hitting them from the side would have helped the damage out a little bit more back there, but... Oh, well, that's okay. Can I get on the house? Nope. Okay. Well, I can hit you from behind. I don't think he can counter. Even though I'm in melee range. That's okay. Oh yeah, now I remember what I wanted to mention. Uh, from what I've heard, you can also get the ending from this if you defeat Laharl in the story battle at the end of chapter 11 there. But I've never done that, so I don't know. Kind of reminds me of like the Ocean Palace ending in Chrono Trigger. But anyway, I think that'll be good enough. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! This is so humiliating! Ha uh ha! -huh. Well, damn it! If that's how it is... Get out of here! Uh-oh. I'm just gonna blow up the planet! The whole thing? But wouldn't that kill you too? Hold on! Just don't take five minutes to do it. Shouldn't you have used, like, your meteor attack or something? Yeah, I didn't think Overlord's Wrath could do that, but... Well, nuts! Okay, well, anyway, I'm not going to save after the credits here, because I want to go back, b build up those accelerators there. Maybe if I'm sufficiently motivated, I'll do that for some of the angel sandals, just to make life a little more convenient there. And... Then we'll head on into Axel mode. But I wonder what Axel's been up to after we defeated Overlord Xenon. Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>